Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and tonight I'm still not feeling that great, so I am just going to do some happy mail, share a couple things I've gotten, and uh, my Comic Con experience. <laughs> Um, so if you're watching this over on YouTube, really no class tonight, just kind of like a show and tell and a little chit chat. <laughs> so this is some happy mail I got, and this is from, um, Mildred, you know her as Bear Pink. Let me move this here so you can see it. So she, I teased her because we watch, uh, Prima Live, and, um, they were working a tag, and so I, um, was teasing her that she was going to make me a tag, and she did. Look how cool that is. So she's got some coppery stuff on here and then she added these little flowers I love the spider web she had the little spider web there isn't it cute and then she has some texture you can see that little texture on here and up here so it was very nice so thank you Mildred for that yeah and then she just gave me a cute little note with the pumpkin she signed it <laughs> it is pretty isn't it <laughs> so a nice fall tag so I had that hanging down in my dining room and then Bunny sent me um, a card, and she wrapped it in this, can you see it, the jelly plate? And I love the, um, that must be the PBOs. <laughs> she says, stop, stop, I'm flushing. <laughs> I was teasing her to, uh, yesterday because on Prima they were doing mason jars, and so I was teasing her that she didn't have to send me the mason jars because it's too heavy. <laughs> but I love this, um her jelly plating this so this is bunny thank you bunny for the happy mail look how pretty that is this is that's it must be the blue pink um iridescence pbo right and then are these is this um patty stencil i think that's patty um inky obsession i think that's hers yeah the jelly plate isn't it cool so i'm gonna save that because that's cool and then she made me this cute little card look at that and she's got some glitter. I don't know if you can see. The, oh, yeah, you can see the glitter. Must be like, it looks like maybe Wink Costella on there. And then the cute little doily. And it's got some shine to it, too. I think you can see it. Yeah, there's the shine. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bunny. And then she wrote me a cute little note inside. And she has all this inked. Is this um, alcohol ink or was this, um, was it like sprays? Because this one's shiny too. Can you see? Yeah, right up in here you can see the shininess. It's very cool. And then here, and then the black there, right there, you can see it. <laughs> oh, go, both. All right, good. So thank you, and you know how I love my flowers. So thank you for that, Bunny. <laughs> All right, and then, um, oh, that's, oh, I did get a couple things. I did um, watch Patty. Oh, Spectrum Noir. Oh, cool. Um, I did watch Patty when she was showing um, her clay moles, and this is from the Enchanted Gallery, Kimberly Crick. Um, it's Enchanted Gallery. I thought she had her website here. I guess she doesn't. Oh yeah, here it is, the EnchantedGallery.com. You can see that Enchanted Gallery. Oh, the new Prima sprays. Ah, oh, that's nice. I love the sparkliness of the new Prima sprays. I love that blah, that blue dragonfly is like one of my favorites. So I did get the little head. She showed that little um, like evil wizard head kind of. <laughs> so I did get that. So I can't wait to play with that. And then I got this one. This one is a little lady's face. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, there it is. And then on this side, it has, um, I think this is a butterfly in her head and then these are all like little leaves and stuff so the next time we play with clay I'll have to um, print that out and then remember when I was showing you the Prima clay how dry it was it definitely was not supposed to be like that I talked to Carrie at Prima and um, they're going to replace it it should be very soft so then when I do get the new one I'll show you guys that so definitely that if you get prima clay that's dried like that it's not supposed to be dry like that so be sure to contact um, prima or where you got it from they should replace it for you so hi Ella. <laughs> all right and so so here's um, my comic con so this is i'm not really into comics or anything like that but i wanted to go to meet the girl camille um derico i think is her name 
so that's this this is her book so I did get a couple books to show you I did get by her rainbow children book I love that and then what's and her cat is cats here no Cassie's not here so I have that to show you I did get a couple of her cards so I'll show you those um let's see what else <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm sorry for the cough. It just comes and goes. I did get, um, actually, Jerry's. Yeah, you better open your clay bunny and check it. If you, any of you guys have Prima um, clay, paper clay, be sure to open it and um, see if it's soft. Um, and you can always put like a wet paper. I keep mine when I open it with a wet paper towel just to keep moisture in there. And then I double bag it to make sure that, you know, it stays. So, but if you open it, you should use it. So, so there was Jerry's Artorama. So I did get these, um, Ecoline brush pens. It's something that, uh, Jane Davenport uses, um, a lot in her journal. So I wanted to try them. So I did pick up those. And then... Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Let me get that, Jennifer. Hold on. I'll, let me open. I forgot. Okay, they're open. <laughs> hey, Jean. <laughs> so I was just telling them about the Prima Clay. So anybody who has a Prima Clay, it's not supposed to be dried like that, like I showed, how it was so hard to. It should be very soft. If you watch the um, YouTube, the IOD um, paper clay, you'll see how soft it is. I mean, she doesn't even have to, like, um, manipulate it, like, up a couple of times, and it's ready to go in the mold. So, and they are coming out with some new molds. I think they're coming out with, like, six or seven new molds. So, I can't wait to see those. So, hey, Carrie. <clears throat> so, and then I did pick up one of these fine point um, brush pens. They had a good sale, so I did get. So there's only two things that I got. Like I said, Jerry's, um, oh, what is it, Jerry's Artsarama? They were there. So. And then, um, so like I said, the, I wanted to meet um, Camille. Um, and so here is um, some of her work. I've shown it before. You've seen um, Dee Dee. Um, I love this one. With the octopus, the helmet. So all that stuff that she puts on their heads is actually calls, she calls them helmet girls. Or helmet, yeah, I think it's helmet girls. And so then that's how you see all those different animals that she puts up there. Oh, Dick Blick, yep, you can get the Ecoline brush markers. Thank you, Jennifer. And then, of course, she always does her little octopus. So that's when, because we always wonder why she puts them, but that's the reason. It's like um, a helmet. She considers it a helmet over there. So this one's cute. I actually got the bag to go with this one. Her little bag, and then I don't like that one. <laughs> so I got that. And then this was her card. Isn't it cute with the butterflies? I really wanted, she had this, if you could see it, um, print with just the girl and the butterflies. That was really pretty. I almost got that, but I didn't. Uh, but here, so you can see, so this is her helmet girls. And so she does, um, she has this, how to draw. Um, so she does show how to, if you're interested in that, the pop manga. So she draws that. And then I love her, I love her girls. Look how cool that is with the iguana. Oh, she just loves little creatures and she puts them like everywhere. And then she does show how to draw her style. Of faces and hands and it's a really cool book and people skirts and stuff like that so <clears throat> so that was one and I had that and then um, this is what I bought there and she actually autographed it for me you can see there she was so nice I mean she's so appreciative of her fans and she um, she loves to talk to everyone it was and she was busy so I really didn't get a chance to um, talk to her that much but she was super nice we did get a little photo. And so there you can see some of her work. So this book is mainly um, a lot of her work. So there you can see. So there is that. And then um, the reason how, I'm not sure how she came up with this. Um, and I don't know if I have the photo of that one girl. Let's see. This girl here, she was at a... Um, like, like we all get a, a block and she couldn't figure out like what she wanted to um, 
to do. So she just felt like all the color and all the inspiration was like pouring out of her. And then that's how she started her Rainbow Girls. So, isn't it cool? And of course, I just love the octopus. She has, she does so much stuff with octopus. And so then there's, I'll just take you through some of the pages here. And then I, this is, I guess, her girls that she used to do. She was not a comic, I think, but I don't remember what the name of it was. But these were the girl, kind of girls she was drawing. And then she does do little bugs. She loves her little creatures. Look how cute those are. <laughs> <coughs> So there's a little um, butterfly. Isn't this cute? Out of a watermelon. Yeah, it's a really great book. I really like it. I mean, if you like her work, it's really pretty. I just have to be careful because there are a few pictures in here that... Like, look at that. With the butterflies. Can you see that? And then this one. How nice those butterflies are. And I love um, this. I want to try that. One day on a stream on Sunday, we'll have to try that. I did get her paints, and she uses, um, I forget the name of it, um, but it's an oil base that you can mix with water. So we'll definitely have to try that. So here you go, too. Now, here is a picture that I painted. And where is that picture? So I actually told her that I did that on um, Ustream. And so um, this was a... You can see there's the photo, and here's the one that I, I did on stream. You can see all the glittery on there. She loved it. Oh, my gosh. She wanted to take a picture with me. She took a picture, and she held up um, my coloring page. So I was I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> but, yes, I can remember when we did this on stream. So I'll just stick that in there. I wish I could have stayed. Um, like, Friday night she had a... Um, like a, a class or something for coloring. Um, but I could only get tickets for Thursday, so. And then you can see there's some more of her work. And there's another one. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mildred. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, and then I guess she used to draw like Hello Kitty. She, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, loves um, My Little Pony, <laughs> as you can see. And that's kind of, I guess, where she got all her rainbow colors or her inspiration. <laughs> so, so she was really sweet. And even at the end, um, I went to say goodbye to her because she took a picture with these um, sculptures. And I wanted to know where they were. And she thanked me for coming and for showing me the stuff. I mean, she's so nice. She's really nice. And she's super, um, she signs anything. I mean, she signed the postcard. She signed my book. Um... And I think, yeah, so let me, so that's that book. So if you're, you know, like her work, that's the Rainbow Children, she calls them. Um, so she did sign my, um, I brought this one from home because I had this one. And so she signed it and then put one of, I guess this must be like her little signature animal or whatever. <laughs> so um, she didn't do that for everybody. She did do that um, for a couple people. So, so I was happy to get that. <coughs> and then, so this is her other book. Look how cute that is. Uh, so these are the paints that she used. And these are the ones that are um, Holbein Dual Oils they are. So you can mix them with water. So um, we're definitely going to have to try that. I do have the paints, and so we'll try it. So let's go through it real quick. It just tells She tells you how, she, you know, how she does her work and blending, different techniques. She actually shows you kind of step-by-step step in some of them. Oh, for the special people, yeah. <coughs> you have this book, CB? Yeah, so this is a really cute one. I mean, if you like her kind of, um, I love her colors and I don't know, just like her work. So, so I did get that. So, and I think I showed this book once before. And then you could see that she does here. She does a step out, so you could see kind of how she goes. She does that in a couple of things. So you can see that. Um, so oh, she has a. So there's another one where she does the complete. It's hard for you guys to see the complete step out. And then in there. And so this, she does all her work on wood. So it was really cool. Oh, Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Oh, she can't get in the chat. Oh. So so it was really cool to meet her and see her work. Oh, so here's her little water um, watermelon butterfly. And she shows you step by step. I might have to just try that because it's easy <laughs> um, in the beginning. 
so yeah so then we were trying to figure out what this because kathy um she um colored this page uh i think like two weeks ago or three weeks ago on her stream um and so this is kind of just like um a collar like <laughs> so as we were trying to figure out what this was was it like jelly or what it was so but if you see the way kathy painted hers and she did it with the uh, pan pastels it came out really nice so and then um i did get um her little the only thing i really wanted like a print of a mermaid or you know something and this was the only thing she had was this little mouse pad with the mermaids can you see them so hi kia oh i can't get any picture sound oh, sorry i thought you stream was behaving but maybe not so and so this is the little creature that she draws so i don't know if that's like her signature little creature or whatever but cute so to get that um let me see what else i did get a couple i did walk around and take some pictures um so it was it was fun it was like oh my gosh to go around the java center if you can imagine um new york city blocks they were like you know how long they are so this block was probably where we had to wait so the door was here and you had the one block here and then like two blocks going down that was just the line to get your ticket oh i've never seen so many people in one place so and they did give out a couple free things this is um, a sticker bracelet i'll probably send this to sarah's little boy <coughs> so we got that and then they did give out this is like a little atc so they were giving out some free stuff hi carol and then I could do pick up a couple of her cards. And then um, there was a guy there doing, I guess he was doing kind of like an Inktober. I actually tweeted that to his DD and stuff. And so you could see, I mean, they're the cartoon artists. I mean, they're just like, they're amazing. Some of their work that they do. Um, but they like, um, when I saw Camille, she was happy to sign anything. She would sign anything for you and take a picture. Some of these guys, you have, if you wanted a picture with them, it was like $60, $80 just to take a photo with them. Or if you wanted their autograph, some of them, it was $100 to get an autograph. I was like, oh my gosh, that was like unbelievable to me. I mean, if it's your fans and stuff, I think you should be doing that stuff kind of for free. But I don't know, that's just me. <coughs> I have to take a little cough drop. So. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I didn't expect it to be like that, CB. When um, they sent me the email and they said, oh, to avoid the lines, if you don't want to be waiting in the big long lines, make sure not to get there, you know, super early. So I waited. It opened at 10, I think. So I figured, oh, people probably there at 8, 9, and um, I'll go right around quarter to 10 and I should be fine. Oh, my gosh. No way. When I left there at 2.30, the line was still all the way around the building to get in because it was open, I think, till 7.30 or 8, something like that. Can you imagine at 2.30 in the afternoon and the line was still wrapped around the building? Oh, my gosh. I've I just never seen anything like it. And then I did get, I don't know if this guy signed his stuff. Oh, he didn't sign it. But I love this little postcard. He had quite a few of them. Oh, yeah, here. He's the Art of Sketch. Um, art illustrator, art curator. I'm, I'm surprised he doesn't have his name on here. Yeah, some of them, yeah, they do camp out overnight. It's like unbelievable. And then quite a few of them were dressed in costumes. So, but look how cute this little pumpkin girl is. So I thought um, Sunday, I'm a, I usually do my black um, dilution journal. I usually do something Halloween in there. So I think we might do something like that. Either that one or this one. I like this one too. You had quite a few of them, so you had to buy these postcards, so they were like two bucks. So, um, yeah, I love that one. So I think we'll do something Halloween-ish. We'll either do that or um, I might do, we, they did give you this big magazine. And so this was um, the Comic-Con magazine that they gave you. So we might either do Halloween or do... I'm thinking about cutting her out and putting her in my Black Dilutions journal. So. 
No, it's not my cup of tea either, Jean, but I just wanted to meet her, and I wanted, and some of the things that you can get, um, you can only get there, so, like a couple of her postcards, I mean, some of her things you can get online, but she also does, um, limited things just for the different Comic Cons that she's at. Oh, is that him? So Jennifer says, Oscar Sketch Navarro is an artist from San Bernardino Valley. And in 2008, he received his bachelor's degree in art at the California State. Oh, I know. Uh, it, it is insane, Ella. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to meet her in person because, like I said, she was so nice. So I think, um, so either we'll do something Halloween-ish or cut her out and... And do something with that in the journal so so I'm basically let me see oh here's my bag so like these bags too like you couldn't um, only get them there so you can see here's my little canvas bag and so I love that she did she had another one but I wasn't too crazy about the other one but I love this one of course with the octopus and then what else I got that that and then, of course, she has a, her coloring book out. So, and you've seen that. Um, Dee Dee's done a page, I think, out of here. And um, Kathy, Cass, 1415, she's done um, a journal page. She just did it recently. Uh, actually, this front one that she did. Best way to say. <laughs> yeah, it is crowded, yeah. Thanks, Jennifer. Yeah, it is a cool bag. Um, so, and that I've shown this before, so I'll just show a couple pages. So, I asked her if she would think about doing a watercolor book. So, she said she's going to ask her, um, her publicist. So, that would be cool if she did watercolor. So, I'll just flip through this real quick. I haven't colored any, like I just did that one page with the watercolor paper. But that's probably what I'll do is I'll probably put these, copy this and put them on watercolor paper. So here's the one with the mermaid. I definitely have to do that. So there's a mermaid here and this one. And this one, look at that. <laughs> and a lot of these are in her rainbow, um, Rainbow Kids Children's um, book. <laughs> yeah, I hope he does a watercolor book. Would be cool. And she also was doing, I think she was doing a book signing too in there in the city at Barnes and Nobles over the weekend. But see, you could see that that's, I could see now how all those little creatures now, now it kind of makes sense. So they're her little helmet um girls hi miss Allie. <clears throat> this one cracks me up like sucking the brains out <laughs> like some of the things i don't the only thing i don't like that she does is when she starts putting the snakes Ugh, no i don't like that <laughs> But she does have some YouTubes, I think, on showing how she um, paints, um, does something of her paintings. I mean, she's always busy. I think before New York Comic Con, she was actually in, I think, in Calgary, in Canada. I mean, that's where she's from. But she was also, I think, either at an exhibition or another Comic Con there in uh, Canada. I love this one with all the little little girls. <laughs> and our little cats. Aren't they cute? Okay, bye, Kathy. And then that's the one that Kathy did. I don't remember which one Dee Dee did. But. So that's that. Oh, oh, I did have something else to show you. So, yes, yeah, so if you ever do get a chance to meet her, she's super nice. And um, it was just nice to um, actually talk to her a little bit. <laughs> so, another thing I got over the weekend 
was, I don't know if some of you know this girl. I mean, I know I can draw my own faces, but sometimes you just don't feel like drawing your own faces. So I did get, and this is this girl here. Rita Barakat, Barakat.com. This is her. You see her there? And so she actually came out with her own stencil. So she actually sent me um, a cute little um, stamp set. Let me open this up so I can get to the... Oh, maybe not. So she sent me that and her little and um, a pencil. Of course, I can always use a pencil. And then these are her faces. So here it is too. Rita, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Baraket. Baraket. <laughs> and so she's got a big one. You can see this one here. So I thought that would be cool to do like um, on a canvas or a canvas bag. Cute little face. And it's nice that it, even if you just wanted to kind of draw like the hair and then change it around, whatever. So it's like, I kind of like it. So that's her face there. And then she has two little ones. These are six by six. Let me show you those. Oh, here you can see her. This is her. She's got purple hair. <laughs> and then that's when you can see that's how it is painted up. <laughs> and she does have a lot of um, YouTube videos um, so you can see that one so there's that one this one's got little flowers she's kind of looking like straight at you and then this one's kind of um, slanted I like this one of course I like the hearts and they're um, pretty thick you can see how sometimes the um, stencils are pretty thin these are pretty thick and then there's that one. So you can see that one and that one. And if you sign up to her newsletter, she does like um, like private um, videos that you could see and how she does it step by step. So she's really she's really nice. And she does um, you know give you a lot of good information. So so if you're interested in doing the girls' faces but you don't know how to draw. I think this is a good way to go. So, oh, sorry, Vicky. I don't know why everybody's having such a hard time getting in. Sorry, you guys. So, all right. So then, um, so if you're interested in that, she does sell hers. I think on Etsy is where you can get her stencils. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> And so, um, so Sunday we're going to do some type of journaling um, in my Black Dilutions journal. And then next Wednesday, um, just because I, I really can't do like a class tonight. I just can't. <laughs> um, but I did want to show you how far I did get. Oh, before I show you that, I'll show you. Um, so we're going to continue with the waterfall. I call it a waterfall frame. So this is one that I did for um, scrap a dab -a -doo. I think it's almost like two years now ago that I did it. But this was um, a Prima one. And you know, so you can see that I actually flipped this up. And I haven't put any pictures in here. But this is, um, I think this is 5 by 7 inside here. So you can see how that is. And then it just flips over. And I broke my little key. There was a little wooden key there. And so they all flip. So you can put little ATCs in here. And they all come out. This one has a little tag that pulls out like this. And then this one pulls out like this. And then they flip up. You can see that there. Is it me? Oh, good. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. And then this is a picture. And the nice thing about this is I can slip this out. When I get tired of, um, say, I don't want this in here anymore. And I take this out so I can still keep the main picture in there. And then this part, since it's a waterfall, you can actually scrapbook it 
you can put it into a mini album. So I've done quite a few of these to give as gifts. Oh, thank you, Vicki. So um, I just think they're cool. Um, um, so I did start that like two weeks ago. And then you can just um, well, you just slide it right back in. And so then it just stands up like this. You know, and you can put it on a coffee table and people can look at it. So I don't know, I just really like it. You can see, and I use the wire from Prima. And Prima came out with these little light bulbs and they had these wires. So I kind of glued those on there. Oh, Jean likes Celtic knots, I think. So that's, um, so that is my, I call it the waterfall, um, frame. And so then we were starting, um, one, uh, like two weeks ago. And this is with the Prima Rossi Bell. So I did add, remember, um, this was white. And so I actually did add some black paper to it. So I've just added the pictures in the beginning. And then, um, next week we'll, um, do the other pages so this is Gabby and I in Budapest you can see that and then I flipped that and so I bought um printed all my pictures that I want to put in here so we still have the back pictures to do and so then this is um let's see if I can get this here so there's Gabby and you can see how um we're on the um pest side and this is Buddha so one side is Buddha and one side is pest and so that was a big bridge that um, we took picture of there. Oh, thanks, Ella. <laughs> and then so I then took out some more pictures to put. So we'll, uh, I'm actually going to try to make this a pocket. And then slip these pictures inside here like this. And then I took this other little picture. All of that. I wanted to um, you be able to see the paper in the background still. And Jean, Jean uh, kept saying... You're covering up that beautiful paper. So we actually did a um, acetate pocket so that when you take it out, you can see um, the po um, the paper. And then in the back, I actually put another picture there. And so then here I can put a little tag and just put a little journaling or something like that. So and then I still have to punch the hole up at the top. And then... This is when we went to the Picasso, the museum. So you can see that there. <laughs> Jean. <laughs> so that's that. And then these are the pictures that were in the um, museum. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this uh, here on top like that. And then put it on there. And we'll have to decorate that. So, And then um, the baths, they have these. They have a whole bunch of baths there. And they're so nice because... One side of the pool is kind of like warm, and then the other side is kind of cool. So when you got too hot, you can go into the cool part. <laughs> yeah, imagine Jean saying that about pink. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to add these um, pool pictures. So here's, you can't see it, but there's Gabby right there <laughs> in the way in the bottom there. So, and then here she is here <laughs> the back of her. Um, and so here I took the picture of the... Um, this was the pool and it's huge it's really big you can see it goes here's where the umbrellas is and then this even continues further here so so we're going to add those pictures there and then for the last picture in the back I decided to use all our food so this was um her coffee that she had so I figure I'll put that there and then this is kind of like a um it's hollow on the inside I forget what these are called I'm gonna have to ask Gab what the um what these are called and so we had these one uh, morning for breakfast <laughs> and they're not real sweet but we hadn't eaten sweets in so long that we actually kind of felt like sick after <laughs> but um but you pull these off and we can see you see the ribs like that they come off each piece comes off like that and they have all different kinds but they're light and airy so um it's just that we weren't used to eating all that sugar <laughs> um and then this was a place that she had saw that um, is supposed to have the best desserts. It's kind of, the pools are kind of like, you know, they have minerals and that kind of stuff. And I was like so achy the first two days from walking around. But then when we went into the pool and we spent most of the day, day there for the pool, 
actually my legs felt so much better like the next couple days I mean so I don't know if that was just the mineral oil water or I just thought it felt better but it did actually um, seem to help oh these are chimney breads they're called and they are baked oh yeah and they're baked in a cylindrical stone right so that's what they're called chimney <laughs> chimney breads but and but this cake was so good oh my gosh and we actually sat outside and ate and then this is what she wanted this had like caramel and I forget what the other stuff was inside there but of course I had chocolate on chocolate <laughs> So that was that. And then uh, I figured for my last two pictures, I'm going to actually add these pictures. So they do their gelatos. And you can see they're in the shape of a rose. So um, this was the one that she got kind of like. And it, they give you um, either two flavors or you could have three flavors. So you can see that's what the rose looks like. So that was me when I had mine. Let's see if I have a better picture of it so I can show you. They were so good. We actually, I love the ice cream so much that we actually went like a couple of times. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Um, not that one. Yeah, the ice cream is so yummy. So let's see. I'll just, I'll just go through these real quick so you can see them. And this is how that um, is lit at night across. It's so pretty. We took a boat ride. It was really, really pretty. You could see that. And then this was inside the church. We went inside the church. Can you see that? All that gold. And then I forget who these people were that were in there. And of course, I love the vulture sculpture. <laughs> uh, and then in, they have so much um, architecture all around that it, it's just amazing. Like everywhere you go, there's. Um, <laughs> you're hungry now? <laughs> Each building always has, you know, some type of architecture. Oh, it was so nice. Like this. Like, look at all those people up there. Oh, my gosh. It's just, like, amazing. Okay, so here's the icon. So she's just making it now. So you can see here's the, the first layer, like, and then she's doing the outside layer. And this was um, a church, and that's where the ice cream place was just on the outside of this. It was really good. And there it is. Oh, that was mine. Chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> You see how they did that? And they do it so fast. It was really cool. Oh, that was me. Oh, there's another picture. Me with the rose. I don't want to see that. Let me see. And there's Gabby there. <laughs> but now look at this was um, on the Buddha um, side. And this was a church. The church that I just showed you. And look at all the um, sculpture around there. I mean, it's just amazing. All the way around the arch there, you could see it. Up in here, it's just like, oh my gosh, that church was so beautiful. You love that about the Baltic cruise the architecture? I know, it's everywhere, right, Jean? So then here, you can see here's where that um, vulture is. And it just looks so, um, that was to go downstairs to where the museum was. Let's see, oh, that's my rose again. And then this is where, on the other side of the church, was this. It kind of reminded me, like, um, Harry Potter, kind of. <laughs> so there's more. Then that's the other part of the church there, you can see. And the roof. Can you see that roof, the way it's tiled? Oh, my gosh, so pretty. <laughs> of course, my ice cream I took pictures of. Another picture. <laughs> it was so cold, we were eating outside, that we actually had to put a blanket on. <laughs> Um, but it was fun. It was fun eating outside. It was, this was a place where I think I told you guys where Gabby and I were eating and, um, the waiter, um, brings a check and puts it in front of Gab. And so I paid it and I forget, I think the tip was supposed to be something like, I don't know, $10, 10 or $11. And I gave him like $14. <laughs> When we got up to leave and Gab left before I did, he comes running from the restaurant to thank her um, for the great tip that he got. Oh, my gosh. And she was just like, she was like, he was so happy and she was happy. It was, it was funny. <laughs> so, and then, yeah. So, there we are again. I'm actually shocked that she let me take so many pictures because she hates taking pictures. <laughs> and there's that one. <coughs> I have a couple doubles. Oh, here's the roof. Can you see the roof on that church? Look at that. Try it again. What's up? The barbecue era? 
<laughs> the Baroque era. <laughs> Did I say barbecue? <laughs> Baroque era buildings. During the Baroque era, music and art, because it was very ornate. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, she doesn't like let me take pictures very much. Oh, yeah, and there's, you can really see the ice cream. See all those layers and stuff? Oh, my gosh, so good. Oh, and so and then I actually saw this in um, a restaurant, and it's all made out of hedges. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Oh my gosh, did I say barbecue or did I say Baroque? Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> so here again, so here's where we took the picture across the town there. <laughs> and there's, she always makes a funny face. I always capture like one funny face of hers. And so then this is, these are just small pictures. So that's like that. Yeah, she does. She does get those great albums. So we'll definitely um, work on that next Wednesday. Try to finish, because we only have the five pages and then the frame so that we can stick that all in there. So that won't be too bad. We should be able to be able to finish that hopefully next week because her birthday is the 20th and I actually want to give it to her for her birthday. So I definitely have to finish it next week because <laughs> um, then we'll go into the um, city and then I can actually give it to her. So thanks, CB. So do you guys have any questions? I'm just going to call it a, um, an early night. I'm sorry that Paula's not streaming tonight. Because then you guys could have gone over there. But, um, <laughs> I didn't, did I say that? <laughs> uh, sorry, Jean. The meds. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, if um, you guys have any questions. No questions. So, um, yeah, so Sunday we'll definitely do something in um, Dilutions Journal, the black one. I always find that hard to do, that black Dilutions Journal, so. <laughs> I know, Jean, you got to go. I told you you have to go before 20, what did I say, 2017 or 2020, before um, Voodoo Pest chains over. Right now they have their own money, but um, they change over to the EU, and then it'll be a lot more expensive. It's really nice. I forget. Um, somebody else went to Budapest. I don't remember who it was. They had something big over there. But um, <laughs> <coughs> so um, yep. So all right. So Sunday. So we should be. Hopefully by the weekend I'll feel a whole lot better, and um, hopefully we'll be back on track. So <laughs> thanks, EP. All right. So I'm gonna say good night. Um, thanks for hanging in there with me, coughing all. <laughs> And um, I will see you on Sunday. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jean. Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> bye.